Today I'm going to be looking at how to play online games with a game controller and the program used to configure it. So I'm going to open up my browser and you want to go to this website brothersoft.com and I'll have a link in the description to this actual page. Once you get here you're going to download the program Joy to Key and I believe this is the latest version 3.7.9 so I'm going to click download. Then I'm going to come over here where it says click to download. Then I want to save it. And then save it wherever. I'm going to save it just in my documents. And it's going to come in a compressed folder. So I'm going to minimize this. Go back up to my documents. Now I'm going to unzip the folder and use whatever uh, un un or compressed file program that you want. I use 7-zip. I'm going to hit Extract Files and click OK. And now that it's unzipped, I'm going to open it up. And then right here, the Joy to Key, this is what you're going to use. And it gives you a little instruction manual with it. So read that. But I'm going to, and this is just going to be a basic overview of it. I'm not going to go real deep into this. I'm just going to do the basic idea of how to use this. So what we're going to do is open up the program. And it's pretty simple. There's not much to it. And it gives, it's got a little menu bar up here. And here is a list of all your configurations that, you, that you're going to have to name. And then it come, you come over here, and here's all your buttons. Now, what you want to do is find a, wherever you're playing, whatever games you're playing online, you need to know what keyboard um, keys do what so you can configure them. For an example, I'm just going to use this Atari Online, or the 2600.com, uh, because all of these games use the same configuration. So if you can find some of that, it's going to be a lot easier for you. But you need to find what does what. So I'm going to use, I'm going to open up Missile Command and find out what keys does what. Well, here it says use the arrow keys to move and then space bar to fire and action button. So that's, I need to con configure that and then the arrow keys. And the other ones are somewhat optional, like over here, you can you can select a reset or a select if you want. Most of the time, I just do it with the mouse. But for actual gameplay is what I'm looking for here. So I'm going to configure the arrow keys and the space bar. So now what I'm going to do is go back over here. Minimize that. I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to name, I'm going to click create. And I'm going to name this 2600 online so that I know that this configuration goes with that game or with that website so there it is right there 2600 online now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna double click right here where it says left and it says disabled I'm gonna double click that and then all you're gonna do on your keypad is just hit the left keypad just like that arrow left right here and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to come down here to the right one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hit the right, uh, the right keypad. And then click OK. Then up. Do the same thing for that. Down. And now whatever button on your controller that you want to be the space bar or the fire button you need to figure that when you look on your controller on mine I've just got one two three and four so I've just got to choose whatever button I want I'm actually going to choose button two because it's a little easier for me to get to so I'm going to choose button two and then I'm going to press the space bar and I'm going to click OK and that's it. Now once you've got it configured, that's all you need to do.
and also when you use this this program needs to be open if you try to exit back out of this and play your game it's not going to work the program needs to be open so I'm just going to minimize that go back over here to missile command And I'm not sure I have to exit back out or not. I think this would still work. So I'm going to just try this. Yeah, and it does. You don't have to re like reset it or exit back out. So I'm just going to play. And the whole time I'm using my keypad. I'm not, or I'm using my game controller, not the keypad. Okay, I just wanted to basically show you right quick of how it's actually done. Uh, but that's it. That's pretty much the biggest thing is whatever. Uh, now, here's the thing. Most arrow keys does the moving pretty much on any website you play on or whatever games you play. The arrow keys does most of the moving. But you need to, you're going to have to reconfigure. I'm just going to open it back up here. Uh, and you can name it different things. If you had a website such as the one I was just on, that most all the games are configured, you play them with the same configuration, uh, you can go back and pick whatever configuration you want. You might have three or four different websites that you play on, and you would just choose uh, whatever configuration uh, goes with the, with the game. So that's pretty much it. And anytime you just go to create and then create uh, whatever a name is for whatever website you want to play on. And um, you can delete different configurations. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's, a, uh, there's also a preferences where it says one joystick is detected and gives you a little bit about how many you can configure and, and all that. So, But there's not that much to it. Uh, so it's pretty pretty easy to, to navigate around and that's it that's pretty much how you can play online games with your game controller so you don't have to try to use that annoying keypad